Hey everybody, it's David with WP Zone, and I am super excited to share with you today one of our latest products that we launched over the Black Friday Cyber Monday season. Simple Payment Module for Divi. In my opinion, this is a game changer product if you're building Divi websites and you want to sell products but don't need a full e-commerce platform. WordPress in conjunction with WooCommerce and other plugin-based solutions has long been used as a platform for e-commerce. The Divi theme includes built-in support for WooCommerce, enhancing the appeal of Divi-powered e-commerce websites. Add-on plugins like our very own Divi Shop Builder extend this capability even further to offer more opportunities for customization and additional functionality. But a full-featured online store like WooCommerce provides may not be the right for every application that involves making sales online or collecting payments through your Divi website. The expansive feature set that WooCommerce and Divi Shop Builder offer can be a downside when all you really need is to take orders for one or a few products. You need to just collect donations or offer your clients a way to pay invoices using their credit cards. Enter the simple payment module for Divi. True to its name, a lightweight, easy to use answer to selling products and collecting payments on your Divi site that involves configuring your payment processor details and then dropping a module on your page in the Divi Visual Builder. There are still plenty of design options that you can use to customize the module's appearance including how the Stripe credit card field looks and feels. Before we dive into some of the nitty gritty on how to get started with the simple payment module on your own site, here are a bunch of live demos that I'm gonna walk through that you're gonna be able to download and use starting today. And you're gonna see some, some examples of what is possible with this module. Let's dive in. Okay, so here we are, and I'm going to share my screen and walk you through this amazing product, Simple Payment Module for Divi. So here's our product page over at WPZone.co. Simply head over to the Divi plugins or head over to the shop or simply do a search for the product, and you're going to come and see all of the features along with some of the demos as well. And a button here that it's going to allow you to try Simple Payment Module for Divi for free. Head on over to the demo zone. I'm actually going to do this tutorial today on the demo zone so you'll see exactly what you get. Get a full blown spun up WordPress website for 48 hours. You get to test, try the product out, see if you think it's a good fit for you before you ever even buy it. How awesome is that? So, there's going to be lots of functionality and features that the product page covers. So, make sure to head on over to wpzone.co and, and see what options there are. Now we've got two versions. We've got a free version and a pro version. And I'm not going to walk through everything on this video because I've got this blog post that you're watching this video in. And I just kind of want to cover some of the highlights and stuff of the product. But we have a full list of the difference um, on the product page of what you get with free, what you get with pro. So head on over there to check it out. So here I am, I am on the demo page at demo.divi.space. If you head on over there, give your email address within less than a minute, a WordPress website's gonna be spun up and this product's gonna be on the site where you can play around with it and it comes pre-built with four custom layouts. So we've uh, imagined a few different use cases of how people might wanna use this product. One of them is a service-based industry, and it can be any service-based industry. We're just using a photographer as an example because, hey, why not? Photographers are awesome. But if you're a photographer and you want to sell some sessions on your website and you don't want to have to go pay for another platform, a custom photographer platform, or if you want to just book some sessions and not have to have a full e-commerce website, this is one of the options you may want to consider. Because if you have a Divi website, you're obviously already familiar with the Divi Builder. You know the power of it. Every single one of these forms that you're looking at right here are all built with the Divi Builder. How awesome is that? So you can match your branding, match your style, 
uh, you have 100% complete control over how you design this. Now, here are four different examples. I showed you the photographer, but you may have a um, some different pricing on like meal plans, for example. You may have a two serving price and a four serving price, and you want to sell those on your website. You may be a charitable donation uh, uh, operation where you're a nonprofit and you want to accept charitable donations. This plugin is going to allow you to do that super easy. And all of this is done without an e-commerce platform. One of the things that I'm really excited about is, well, okay, can I have physical products? Absolutely, you can have physical products. One of the options that you're going to be able to do, it doesn't have shipping and taxes configured in and whatnot. You just need to set your pricing. And then I'm going to show you a way in this demo really quickly how you can get the shipping address to ship these products to your customers. So if you only have one or two products, it might not make sense to have an entire e-commerce platform. So let's head on up to the top and I'm going to show you exactly what this product does. So obviously in this photographer example, you know, we want the customer to book an appointment. Everything here you see is designed and styled with the Divi Visual Builder. And the actual simple payment module for Divi is just this button here. But there's so much power in this one little button here that's going to blow your mind. So when they click to make an appointment, you're going to notice you've got this matching. Uh, it matches your brand. The styling's really neat. And we've got it coming up in an overlay. That's one of the trigger options for the product. Another one of the trigger options for the product is not to come up in a pop-up or an overlay, but you go ahead and when they click buy now, it populates it on the page. How awesome is that? Last but not least, is it's auto automatically put in page. You style it, everything is there. No overlay pop-up and no, um, no pop-up in page either. It's just styled and built. And that's what comes with the free version. The pro version allows you to have the um, overlay on the page and the, you know, in the page pop out as well. Those are the two options. So what I want to do now that I've showed you some of the different designs, I want to go back here and head over here to the, um, to where I have the, the visual builder enabled. And I want to kind of walk through a couple of things on the product. <clears throat> They're all the same. All of the options are the same. So I'm going to go down and scroll down here to the bottom because I want you to see how you can accept shipping and, and, mail things to customers and you don't need an e-commerce website. So you're simply going to click into the um, simple payment modules for Divi module. And once you're in the, the module itself, you're going to see all of the different options that you have and the controls to customize this specific product or your product that you're selling on your site. You've got all of the typical design options and about 500 million more. I'm not going to go through any of these because you've, you've got experience with the Divi Builder. You know how to use it and you're going to have complete design control. Everything that you're seeing on our demo page was built in the Divi Builder. So let's come back over here and you know some of the obvious things is you're going to get to set your product name. You're going to get to choose the price of the product, whether you want it to be a fixed price or a custom price. And if you choose custom price, like on the donations, you may want to allow them to input however much they want to pay for it, to donate, or you can, you know, set a price, a variable price, 10, 20, 30, whatever the options are so that you may have three different sizes of, um, this bottle, for example, and you're going to go ahead and set which one they want to choose and buy. So I'm going to open this back up here and I want to specifically head on over to the display mode module. And this is where you, you choose whether or not it comes up in page like this, whether it's after a button click where it dropped down and I showed it to you or in an overlay after the button click. Now the free version only has this in page option. The pro version has these other two options. So if you want those options, you're going to have to go for the pro version. One thing that I want to show you is your payment settings. Um, you can have a statement descriptor. 
uh, your payment success. You can set all of your messages. Your payment has been processed. Thank you. This is where you're going to set all of the, the emails that go out after the product. If there was an error, unfortunately, we were able, unable to process your payment. The reason given is whatever the reason is. You need to fill out the zip code or whatever it is. There's going to be able to set your error message. But what if we want to allow shipping? So you come in here to the form fields, and one of the things that I have turned off that's not turned on currently is display the notes field. You'll notice that once I turn it on, this is populated here. So you're going to be able to put a title, and let's just call that shipping address. And then they're going to be able to input their shipping address, for example, 107 Granite Street, whatever town, USA, you know, and you can choose whether or not this is a required field. So if you need the shipping address, you're going to simply select the required field. It's going to force them to fill it out before it's going to allow them to check out. This product is so powerful and awesome. And we're going to be creating a lot more videos that focus on showing you how to use it, all of the different features. We're going to do a step-by-step -step walkthrough tutorial. But if you're in this blog post and you're looking for a solution, Simple Payment Modules for Divi will allow you to accept payments on your website without an e-commerce platform. And that is huge. We'll see you in the next video.